So in this video, we'll see the common issue we face when we are using Tailwind CSS. So if you see, I have this application and when you create any CSS file and write all this code, you can see it's underlined. And so anytime you use some other function like screen function, you can see this red line is displayed and it indicates that there is some issue. So you can see it's displaying as a red. So it indicates that there is some error, but there is no error. So if you are using Visual Studio Code or any other ID, then you will face the same issue. But this does not look good, like displaying these underlines and the red button. So if I want to use some background color, let's say I'm adding background color and using theme function. So let's say colors dot red dot, let's say find. So if I use this, you can see it's again displaying there is some bug here. So it indicates that, so whenever the beginner developer writes this code, he might think that there is some error in the syntax. So it confuses. So you can avoid all of this by adding a simple setting. So you can just press Control Shift P or Command Shift P. And here you can open this open user settings, not this JSON, the below one, open user settings. And here you can enter file associations. You can see there is file association. Now click on add item. Here you can enter star.css and for value you can enter Tailwind CSS. Now click on OK. So as soon as you save, you can see there is no red underline. You can see these underlines are also gone. So, and we don't see any red border here. So when you are using Tailwind CSS, you can make this simple setting and by just adding this file association, all the files, CSS files that you create will be able to understand that CSS syntax and it will not give you any error. If you don't want for any of the application, you can just uh, remove that and you will again get that error and uh, underlines. So using this simple setting, you can easily avoid that displaying red underline and making it like an error. So that's it for this video. If you found this video useful, do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.